to beautiful more dishes. What? Okay. Happy Thursday, boys. It's almost Friday. <laughs> That's how I start off my day. Don't tell my girlfriend. Actually, this could be fun. If you guys so happen to break something today, too, because it's Thursday, send me a video on Instagram and I'll feature it on my page with a shout out. I'm not telling you to do it because I can't tell you to do it, but if you so happen to break something and say shout out name brand, I'm not liable for anything that happens after that. Anyway, getting into the video today. <laughs> I'm serious about that, by the way. I think it'd be hilarious. So I don't know if you guys remember, but about a month ago, I asked you guys on a video to tell me what you guys really want to see the most on the this channel and I'll do it. I said the top three comments that get the most thumbs up will do no ifs, ands, or buts. And then I had to take back that but because the first top comment was neighbor and you should kill yourself. I love you guys. I'm not going to be doing that. But the top three under that were kind of dope. The first one was go back to Plato's closet and try to get in trouble again. Cha-ching! Already did it. The next one is something that's going to get me arrested. We are going to do it, but I just don't have the balls today. And the third one sounded real dope. You guys are like, neighbor and you should go back and do a Nike outlet challenge or an Adidas outlet challenge or something. I think that's sick. So I thought, you know what? We'll do that one. But I was thinking about it a couple weeks ago and I thought, you know what? We actually can't per se in that way bars because I'm banned from Nike Outlet for starting a lot of trouble and calling the manager an asshole and Adidas Outlet for trying to rob them with the Kanye mask on. So <laughs> my wheels started spinning a little bit and I thought, you know what? How can we make this work? Then my dingling started tickling a little bit. I had an idea. About a week after on Instagram, I hit up you guys saying, if you guys have any really dope things that you have gotten from Adidas Outlet, send me pictures. The dopest thing that you guys have found, if you're okay with it, I will buy it for retail from you or I can send it back after the video. And that's what y'all did. So we're not going to Adidas Outlet today in this video. However, we are unboxing something that somebody said they got from Adidas Outlet. I strongly disbelieve it. However, they gave me a great price on the shoes, so I'm going to take their word for it. Today we're unboxing probably one of the craziest things I have ever heard of from an Adidas Outlet. They said they got it there. They also gave it to me for retail. It's a no-brainer, really. Of course, I'm gonna take the deal and show you boys some sick sneakers from Adidas Outlet. Also, if we get this video 1,500 thumbs up, within the day, I will shave my head bald. I, I've been trying to do this for a while. I really want to shave my head and think it'd be a funny video. So please help me out with that. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the box. <laughs> so Big Boy sent the box. I appreciate you, buddy. If you sent this, please leave a comment down below or I'll link it down below if you really want a shout out. I think it's a lot of horseshit. I'm just gonna say right now. If he actually sent me the shoes he said he's gonna send me, uh, now I'm thinking I probably got scammed. I paid $500 for these, by the way. <laughs> ah! Thought I could sink my teeth in it. I couldn't. <laughs> I didn't get scammed! This video is not turning into me just not getting scammed. This is sick! Do you guys let me know if this is actually from an Adidas outlet? I actually don't really follow outlets. I don't know how hype these shoes are. I think they go for as much as I bought them for. But as y'all can see, we do have a box with Adidas on it. Oh my god. <laughs> Crazy. You know, <laughs> they're not just some stupid NMDs on the inside. I Alright, whoa! Anyway, we have the plastic wrap right here, which is actually paper. Wake my ass with that later. <laughs> Without further ado, boys. I think this is a whole whole lord of horse crap, but as y'all can see, we have the Adidas 4D? Runner right here, I think. I think this is like the Ultra Boost 4D runner. It says Future Craft, actually. Wow! This is sick! Does this glow in the dark? Oh, we should test that real quick. <laughs> Alright, so they don't glow in the dark. It's fine. Anyway, we got the tag on them still. This is crazy. Would they actually have an Adidas outlet tag if they're from Adidas? You guys legit check if that's actually how it works. Once again, I don't shop there because I can't. Here's a close-up look of these. You guys let me know if you've ever owned a pair. But you guys know I don't wear my shoes. I only destroy them. So we're going to make a sick custom with these real, real soon. I think they make this out of a 4D printer. I think that's the whole concept behind these. Which I'm actually working on soon. I'm going to buy a 4D printer and make a Selena Gomez bust. Like, I mean, I don't need the... Le well, mm, a bust to the knees. I guess I need the legs a little bit, but I'm gonna make a Selena Gomez from the le from the knees up. You know what I mean? Add a wig on it. It's great for only artistic purposes, obviously. Oh, it is real plastic. Check that out. Anyway, boys, that's it for the video. You guys let me know down below if you want more of these challenges. I kind of like bringing you guys into videos like I do with the dumpster diving videos and stuff like that. Things that I can't really do so much by myself anymore because I've burnt bridges everywhere, but things that you guys can help me out with, whatever that means. Anyway, appreciate y'all for watching. Now, I guess we'll get this video to 10 minutes so you guys know the cue. It's time for chilling with Dan Brand. I actually wanted to talk to you guys about something. This is drama related, so you guys might care about this. 
Ugh. And I'm not even drama dude either. I really don't care about any of that type of stuff But a lot of you guys and you might want to watch this I feel like I should have just made a full video on this But I really don't want to do that just out of like I don't want to start drama So and if you're watching this buddy um, I'm not doing this to anyway, but I'll just say it right now So a lot of you guys saw on Instagram. I was having problems with fake education and I've been getting a lot of questions about that I shouldn't have I didn't make it public. He didn't either but I made some public comments of like yo if you're gonna like uh, Low-key like diss me just say it to my flipping face and message me So I guess I kind of made that uh, public on Instagram a little bit because I don't like that bull crap I'm not saying he was doing that but it seemed like some low-key dissing a little bit at one point in time. So fake education, you guys asked me about this and I think I should explain uh, because I'm actually the one that made it public. But it goes back, hold on. Oh, fuck. Okay. So it goes back a little while ago. I don't know if you guys remember and we're good now. We're good now. Just say that. I don't want any comments on his page or anything like that. We're Gucci now. I'm saying where I went wrong and that's it. So a little while ago, I don't know if you guys remember the series that I had where I'd unbox YouTuber merch. Um, I'd put YouTubers together that like kind of, I don't know, they kind of go together. So the first one, I'll make an example. The first one I did uh, was Ricegum and Jake Paul. I bought their Logan Paul. I bought their merch. I compared them. It was kind of a roast sesh on both. Um, so I, I buy your merch and I roast them pretty much. Next one I did was Blake Linder and Beast, you know, B Blake Linder and Blazendary. The one after that was Kais and Tom. <laughs> Real Ray Ray, because I know they were having feuds and stuff. I thought that'd be funny. I, and all these people, except for uh, the, the first one that I did, are my boys. I only roasted my boys after the Jake or uh, Logan Paul one. I just thought, you know, we're boys, so we can handle it. And the last one I did was with Yeezy Busta and Fake Education. I went, I went in on those dudes in the video, you know what I mean? I bought their merch, I'm like, this stuff sucks, but I dig it, but it's like all comedy. You guys know like what kind of, this is real name brand by the way that's talking to you, no shtick. So you guys know like how I am, I just like, I don't really, like, I care about your feelings for sure, but if we're boys, I feel like you know my shtick. I feel like you know how I run my channel, I just say a bunch of horse crap and you take it however you want, but if you know me, you should probably just take it as a grain of salt, because I'm literally just effing around. So, I, uh, I did that on Blazendary and Fake Education, and or, or not Blazendary, sorry, Yeezy Bust to Fake Education. Everyone been cool with it so far. I actually had a lot of people being like, yo, that was a tight video. It was funny. I think it's fun for friends to roast each other. You know what I mean? I think that's all fun and games. Where I guess I went wrong. I roasted, I guess, fake education a little too much. And he didn't dig it. He didn't dig it at all. Like, really not at all. If you know fake education, too, you want him on your side. This guy is cool. <laughs> you know, he's he, he's connected. Not, like, in a bad way. But he's got connections. Like, I go to sneaker cons. I'm going to see him there. You don't want that. I guess I broke bridges a little too much with him. And uh, I went after him as I shouldn't have in his uh, in his thought process, I guess. Um, so yeah, we had some problems. He never talked to me about it. I hit him up about it a lot. I'm like, bro, I know you got problems with me. I'm hearing like quite a few people saying there's like some stuff that you didn't dig. Just t talk to me about it. We could text. Kind of went back and forth a little bit on Instagram. I didn't know at the time that he runs his Instagram with somebody else. So I'm like hitting up his messages. I'm like, what the f, bro? I'm trying not to swear. I'm like. Man, like, if you don't like me, just tell me, and I guarantee you we can solve this stuff. But when it when it starts to come, I think he actually commented. Somebody commented, oh, you're copying name brand on one of the customs he did, which I don't care about. I don't know if he is or not. I don't actually think he is at all because we talked. And he's like, F that dude pretty much. I don't copy losers or something like that. So then I hit him up. I'm like, bruh, that's not cool. Don't make that public. But then I my response is public. And, uh... That was our beef there. That's the beef that you guys saw. It was uh, only, it was really only on his end. It was on my end after I felt I felt like I got disrespected publicly when you could have just talked to me because we're boys. Once again, fake education. If you're watching this, homie, uh, Tony, you're Gucci. I, I dig you. Anyway, so I told him to text me real quick. I texted him, you know, and he actually texted back. We figured it out. So we're not beefing at all. I don't even think it was a beef at all because it was. I think it was just misunderstanding with my personality and his view of like morals and what they should be with friendship, which is Gucci. I said, bro, I understand totally what you're talking about. I ain't about to argue at all, like at all, your point of view on somebody talking shit about you. Um, I mean, if you, if you get, if you get like upset about that, it's not up to me to be like, you shouldn't be upset. I get it. That means I effed up in our friendship realm. You know what I mean? So we're good now. 
I just wanted to talk about this, not make a video about it because I don't think it's worth it. I don't like these drama videos, and you guys know whenever I do drama videos, they're all shtick. They're never real. Like when I did that Blazonary one, why I hate Blazonary or something like that, it's all fake. And I make it so obvious it's fake because at the end of each video, I'm like, man, I really like you though, and honestly, if we could collab, that'd be sick. You know, I just like do that shtick. So. That's what happened there. I felt like I should explain it to you guys because I also made it public and you guys have been asking a lot and I don't want you guys to think we're still beefing or anything like that because I don't want my own image to be some dude who's causing trouble. I know other people like making videos about that stuff and they're all straight up and real talk and not gimmicky or making bits out of it, but I don't want to be known as that guy that doesn't have like... um yeah, that, 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 that's like burning bridges within the, the community that I'm in. There's no point to me, or in my mind, of burning any bridges with people you're going to be seeing a lot, unless you really need to, but I also don't think it's really worth making videos. At the end of the day, though, we are still YouTubers, we still vlog our life, and who knows, if somebody really wronged me, maybe I would make a video. Um, I'm not, I'm, yeah, I'm not saying I never would, because I've never been in that situation. However, I just was, and I didn't make a video, so I'm proud of that. Anyway, gotta let you guys know on Real Talk name brand style, um, that's what happened. It really wasn't big at all, but it looked big when we were firing back and forth a couple times. So, appreciate y'all for watching. Name brand fans, Real Sean Merck in the game, the greatest of all time. Y'all the goats. There's a story. We should have, like, this is, this is why I like name brand, because I actually get to talk to y'all with, <coughs> god damn, without, like, all the shtick and stuff like that. And I could actually just talk to, talk to you guys like how I talk to my homies and you guys can actually see my morals and my whatever the hell smart people say. Anyway, appreciate y'all for watching. No harm, no foul. It's all Gucci now. And uh, yeah, man, hopefully you guys dug this video. And if you made it to the end, actually, if you guys watched through this whole story, because I really, really dig the people that watch Chillin' with Name Brand. Not because you're getting me to 10 minutes, but because you guys are the ones that actually know who true Name Brand is. So uh, if you watch to this part of the video, I want you to, and don't make it obvious at all, don't cap lock what I'm about to say or anything like that because people will copy you and um, it will give you less chance to win. I want to know who's actually watching this part of the video. So if you guys want to win a merch shirt, I actually have one extra of the Selena Gomez's hot shirt, which is really dope, straight to the point by name brand. All you guys got to do is comment any sentence down below and... Spell, sorry, I've got still burnt plastic all over my hands. And spell, um, say two in your comment with three O's. Don't cap lock it at all. That's not what I want. Two in your comment with three O's. It's all you guys got to do. And I appreciate y'all. Hopefully y'all win. Appreciate the real name brand fam watching this video. I'm actually going over it because I feel like I can. And the people that want to watch will watch. Blah, y'all the goats.